Hey guys, Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to work with presets in Camera Raw. I'm going to show you how to create your own presets, I'm going to show you how to work with presets, and I'm going to show you a cool little tip where you can actually retrace your steps and experiment with freedom without worrying about ever losing where you're at. So uh, this is a lot of fun, you're going to enjoy it, so let's get started. One of the great things about Camera Raw that really saves a lot of time is the fact that we can create and save presets. So for example, if we're making some adjustments to this photograph, uh, maybe I'm gonna give it a little contrast boost. Let's just play around with this just very quickly, make some adjustments here. In fact, why don't I just pull the shadows and the highlights and let's play around with that. I'm just kind of going quickly for an effect. Push the whites up here, give it a real big punch of clarity and vibrance. All right, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's do a little uh, go into our presets here. And now that you've done this, you can save this adjustment as a preset. Just simply click this little thing here, and then we can call this one. I'll call it Balboa. And then you can also choose what do you want to save as the preset. So you can choose everything or just apply certain areas. And I'm just going to click OK. And I've applied it. And you'll notice right there, there's our Balboa preset. Now here's the cool thing is other presets that I've created, I can select those at a single click here. And you can see, you know, some of these obviously are going to work well and some are not because they're set for different images. But you can see, you know, we can go in here and choose other ones like maybe this one, for example. And once you've chosen a preset, you can go back in here and you can customize that preset for that particular photograph. So you might want to just kind of tweak it a little bit to make it work because every photograph is different, as you know. You might want to warm it up or keep it cool. And you can see that we can make those adjustments. Now, what you can do too is when you're making these adjustments, and if you like that, you can save it as a new preset. So let's go back here, and we're going to call this one Gritty. I think it will be a good name for it. And I'm just going to click OK. So there we go. We've saved another preset, and this time we have called it Gritty. So if I go there, we can see here's the other one, which I hadn't named at the time. Um, and you can see I can go there to Gritty, and I can change it that way. So there's other things we can do there. You know, we've got the different ones here. So we can see we can apply the presets directly just by clicking this little arrow up here. You can see we can apply them directly from here. So we don't have to necessarily go down and choose them from the list. Uh, so, you, you know, there's a lot of different things. We can update previews, and there's a lot of other options in here. Now, let's have a look at another thing, though. There's this thing called snapshots. What's the difference between a preset and a snapshot? Here's the difference between a preset and a snapshot. A preset is just set. So this is where we are, and that's what we like. What about if we wanted to try a creative exploration but we're not sure if we like it or not. And we want to just kind of be able to go back. Not just one step, but to a certain point in time when we're experimenting. Well, this is when you'll use a preset. We go into the snapshot, you just click a snapshot. And then we've got Untitled 1. And this is a point that we can return to. So maybe I can experiment and say, you know, what happens if I warm it up a little bit? And you're like, mm, I'm going to make some more adjustments, but I'm not sure... So we're going to go back to the snapshot, create a new snapshot, and now we've got the second snapshot. And now we're going to try, you know, playing around with some contrast, some highlights, maybe some shadows. And at this point, you're like, you know what? It's not really working. I want to go back to where it was before. Notice it's very hard to remember where the previous settings were. So that's when you go to the snapshot, and we just choose two, and it'll take us to that point. Or we could go to one and go back or two. So what it does is it enables us to save a point in time when we're adjusting that we can go back to and try a different creative exploration. So maybe I can try this with a lot of contrast and then I'm gonna save this as snapshot three. And I'm like, mm, I'm not sure I like that contrast. So let me go back and try it a different way back on a snapshot two and uh, try a little less contrast and maybe different highlights. Once again, save it as a snapshot now, you probably don't want to call them Untitled 2. You probably want to give them more realistic names. But as you can see, we can go back here. 
So there we were, and we can see that was one exploration. Let's go back. A different exploration. Let's go back. Maybe go back another step. So you can see how we can work with these snapshots. Now, these snapshots don't stay in here. When we close out, it'll stay with this file, but it won't stay in Camera Raw. All these presets here will stay in any image. So any image we open in Camera Raw, these presets will be available. The snapshots are image specific. So at any time, if you like something, you can easily convert it to a preset. We can just simply select that, go to the preset, and apply it here. So that's one of the options. So let me just hit the Cancel button. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to go into Bridge. And here's that same photograph right there. We can see it there. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see it bigger. We can apply our presets directly from here. I just simply right-click. And I can go down to the develop settings and notice here's our options here that we created. There's the gritty setting and we can see we can apply it directly there from a friend bridge. We could try maybe the Balboa one that we made the adjustment to. And you can see this little icon here shows us that we have an adjustment on the photograph. And then when, if we get rid of it, we just simply right click develop settings and then we're just going to choose the clear settings. And now we can get rid of it and notice there's no badge, which means that this photo is unedited. So these presets are incredibly useful. And here's just another little tip too. If you want to take your Lightroom presets and convert those for Photoshop, all you need to do is take an image from Lightroom, open it in Photoshop as a smart object, then go directly to that panel, to the preset panel, and then save that preset. And it will take all the adjustments that you've made and save them as a camera raw preset. So you can use that again and again. And also, don't forget, check out photoshopcafe.com on the site there. I've got some presets on there. There's some free presets and also some preset packs that I have available for different purposes. So um, as you can see, the camera raw presets are incredibly powerful and useful. The other thing worth mentioning too, as those adjustments are completely non-destructive, which is very, very important. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something, or more importantly, I hope you've got a little bit inspired. I really want to kind of share what I've learned over the years with you, and the best way to do that is for you to obviously subscribe so I can share it with you, but also comment in the bottom. Let me know how this is helping you or what you'd like to learn, and then that way we can kind of move along this journey together and, uh, and really start to focus on the things that you want to learn and the things that you want to know. And also, don't forget, check out all the resources at photoshopcafe.com. We've got tons of them. It's a newly redesigned website with um, all kinds of free tutorials. We've got videos. We've got step-by-step -step tutorials. Um, we've got downloads and also an entire library of training. You know, if you want the uh, premium training from a host of authors, um, a lot of them you've probably heard of. So check it out. And uh, until then, I'll see you at the cafe.